Now to an NBC 26 exclusive. When it comes to our drinking water, Wisconsin has options. But as cities grow and the demand for water increases, groundwater wells go deeper and serious health risks like cancer causing radium rise to the surface. In 2006, experts say 42 of the state's public water supply systems reported radium levels three times the EPA's limit of five picocuries per liter. NBC 26's Billy Wagnus has been digging deeper into this issue of radium in our water supply and what's being done to find a solution. Wisconsin is home to groundwater wells of all shapes and sizes, from shallow glacial aquifers to those in the deep sandstone. Other cases, your next door neighbor might have a well that's 500 or 600 feet deeper than yours. In eastern Wisconsin, it's that deep sandstone aquifer that Professor John Luchai of UW Green Bay's Department of Natural and Applied Sciences says, for one reason or another, is preserving radium. Radium has existed in this aquifer for probably millions of years. It's a natural metal that's produced by the decay of uranium. The state is actually home to an underground arc-shaped belt. From Marinette to Milwaukee, known as the Radium Belt, where experts say deeper wells come with the promise of radium contamination. We're concerned about public health. Radium is a naturally occurring radioactive element, and if you ingest it, it behaves just like calcium. It can go into your bones, and it can influence human health by causing bone cancer. It's that reality that's playing a key role in area municipalities' search for safe drinking water. We just didn't have an adequate supply. At the Central Brown County Water Authority. And we all follow guidelines published by both the EPA and the Department of Natural Resources. Manager David Vaklovic says radium-tainted well water was only part of the reason six municipalities surrounding Green Bay joined forces in the early 2000s. For the most part, I think the issue became pretty clear when we discovered we just didn't have enough water to be able to pull out, and then the treatment issues were, were almost secondary. Since September of 2007, Baklovic says a 65-mile, $130 million pipeline connecting Brown County to Lake Michigan in Manitowoc has been the answer. Water quality noticeably improved. The pipeline is also benefiting the area's once overused aquifers as the demand for them goes down by millions of gallons per day. The most recent one was a reduction of 12 million gallons per day pumping from the deep aquifer. We have a choice. Not everyone has that choice. But in homes where treating water for radium is the best option, Luchai says there are pros and cons to one's options which include reverse osmosis and using a water softener. Whether you have reverse osmosis, you waste extra water. If you have a water softener, you produce a lot of salt. That salt goes into a sewer or a septic system, and that salt either ends up in Lake Michigan or it ends up in the shallow aquifer. Here in Ledgeview, these towering structures actually contain about 11 and a half million gallons of stored water for the surrounding communities. Experts say that's enough for a few days at best of emergency uses if something were to happen to the pipeline and only part of the solution in a future where water conservation is becoming all the more critical. We all have backup capacity and the ability to provide that. The groundwater we have is safe to drink. As more municipalities turn to multi-million dollar capital projects for future water security, Baklovic says the rate hikes that typically follow will only remind people of the cost of wasted water. I think continued conservation is going to be the way of the future. In a world where clean water is priceless. Now, experts say there is no state requirement to test for radium in private wells, and testing for it can cost up to $200. For more information on how other Northeast Wisconsin communities are tackling the rise in radium, along with some helpful water conservation tips, head to our website, NBC26.com, and click on this story. Now to an NBC26 